Uh, everyone is expecting a high-scoring affair when the Chiefs take on the Washington football team here, guys. Despite seeing 11 targets last week, though, versus the Saints, scary Terry McLaurin only hauled in four catches. This week, though, his receptions total is six and a half against the Chiefs. Is that too high or too low, Pierce? It's too low, I suppose. This one's really scary. I know people want to attack this game. And McLaurin is going to seem like the option here, but really it's the Chiefs giving up a lot of yards and not necessarily giving up a lot of receptions. They're forcing incomplete passes, and we've seen McLaurin have quite a few incomplete passes because, A, he's got good cornerbacks typically guarding him, which won't be the case, so that's a benefit to him, but he's still going to have a bad quarterback throwing him the ball, and you need that 11-12 volume. I think he's going to get there, but the initial reaction is that, oh, this is easy, but that's more of a yards thing with Kansas City, but ultimately he'll get over this. Okay, Jeff, what do you think? Yeah, uh, Pierce kind of reading my mind here. I, I would much rather go over on the yardage prop for Terry McLaurin here. He, look, I mean, the targets are there. I mean, nobody outside of Devontae Adams since week two, since Taylor Heineke took over as starter in week two, nobody outside of Devontae Adams has more targets than Terry McLaurin. The problem is the connection rate between these two are terrible because Taylor Heineke, especially against bad defenses, hasn't really been that good. But let's just go to the yardage total. It's 80.5. McLaurin can hit this on four catches. It's a terrible secondary. They're giving up the third worst yards per attempt against in Kansas City. So I would say, you know, I, I don't really want to go under on any McLaurin props, but like go to the yardage. That's the one I think you want to go over on this week. All right, Kenny. I agree. I mean, look, Traverius Ward uh, is questionable for this game. He's obviously, he's struggled this year, uh, you know, in terms of his grades at, at Pro Football Focus. And if he plays, you know, I, maybe that he goes over this total. I mean, look, the whole, the bottom line is if you have a good corner on Terry McLaurin and, you know, Mike Hughes has played pretty well, if he gets to start, like maybe they don't throw to Terry McLaurin. Maybe he's not open as much. Maybe they try to go over the middle to their tight ends. I, I think that, you know, this is an interesting spot because six and a half receptions, as Pierce said, is really high. You're looking at a guy fourth in percentage of his team's air yards at 45% in all of football. Um, you know, so he, he's overwhelmingly the top option for Washington. When you look at that stat, I mean, I think that I agree with Jeff. I would much rather take the yardage prop, especially considering he could break free for a, a lot of yards after the catch. I don't know if he's going to catch seven passes despite the 49 targets this year. It's a, it's a little much to ask for me. So I'm going to go on.